Do you have a sports enthusiast in your household? Maybe an all-star baseball or softball player, a golfer? Well, the baseball and golf re release from Cottage Cuts is for you. This is Marla with Mad About Cards and Crafts, and today we're going to create two cards for either a baseball lover or softball lover. I'm starting with the baseball glove, bat, and ball. That's actually the die that I am giving away today in my video. So all you need to do to enter is leave a comment, like the video, and be a subscriber to Cottage Cuts. When I post my next video which will be in two weeks I will announce the winner from this giveaway as you saw I had an all-star die I also have this baseball die which has the word baseball a ball and a shadow and finally I also will be using the all-star die again it has all stars and then it has the shadow die let's jump into our project I have three gloves that I've die cut. My initial direction was going to be to create a background with these pieces and then I changed direction quickly. I decided that I would use these as chipboard pieces. This had something to do with it. I'm using some gathered twigs to add some color to these gloves, but I had something on that one piece of cardstock maybe some glue or something that that dried it was pretty smooth so I'm not quite sure what it was but um, no no worries I'm going to use it as a layering piece for my bats I added some tea dye and then if you've ever seen a baseball there is a seam on it that has red so that there's red threading on a baseball and adding that red to the bar bottom which is barn door is going to allow that red thread to show through it's a little bit of a nice detail on this baseball die cut i'm going to use on this card two of the die cuts the one that says all stars and then I'm also using this one that says baseball. So again, I'm back with the barn door. And then for the shadow, I'll be using faded jeans. And I'm going to do the reverse on the all-stars. So the all-stars will be in blue and the background's going to be in that barn door. Once I finish with this ink blending, we're going to move on to our background. Now I did bring in a star die. I thought stars would be, per or star stencil, I'm sorry. I thought stars would be perfect for this, but first I want to give this a vintage feel. Unfortunately, my antique linen is running a little bit dry and I don't have one of my re-inkers with me, so I did the best I could for some ink blending, but once I get the background together and get the layered stars, it's really going to blend together nicely. I have the first layer. I added a little bit of tape to the back of my card panel so I could put it in place this allowed me to align my stencil in the corner the bottom right hand corner and then I get perfect alignment with my second layer so the first layer was faded jeans and again I'm doing a light layer of the barn door so all of the colors are going to be cohesive and there's our background so you can see by adding that antique linen it does give it a little bit of that vintage feel I'm going to glue the word baseball over the top of my die cut and then I think off camera maybe I add the baseball on there so there is a layered baseball that you can add to the end of that sentiment and of course I'm not going to leave that off I will add it to my card I will add it to my die cut I'm going to add some faded jeans around the edges. I want to draw my I want to draw your eye into the center of my card. I think it adds a little bit more interest and color. As you can see, I do have a top folding A2 size red card panel over there on the left, and I'm going to use that to add my cardstock to. All right, I'm going to flip this over and we're going to add some tape runner to it after I add a little bit of water splatters to get a little bit of um, distressing over the top of this. I'll dry that panel and there's where I'm going to add that tape. 
Now, as I mentioned, I am com I am going to complete two cards today. This one is the more vintage of this two. Both of them are all-star cards. In my household, I had a baseball player, and he played on many an all-star team. He was born in May, the end of May, which is usually when all-stars were starting to be selected. So these cards would have been perfect for him for his birthday. Unfortunately, I didn't have these dies at the time, but as a grandma, I may have a softball player in my future or another baseball player. I sure hope so because baseball is one of my favorite sports. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what is a favorite sport in your household. So I've layered up all of my pieces. I layered up the bat and the glove. Uh, so there's three layers for the baseball because I did have the two layers originally, the layer that had the red and the white. I only added two of the baseballs glued together because that was plenty of dimension. You can see that I did add the baseball to the end of my sentiment. I've added foam tape to both the all stars and to the baseball sentiment. I'm going to align that on my card and that will complete card number one. For card number two, I have that gingham panel or plaid panel. This was something that I had in my stash. So I went ahead and cut, the, cut it down and I'm going to adhere it more towards the top of this top folding card base. You can see that I used my nested circles. I used one for a navy piece of cardstock, and then I did the blue stars, just one layer of the stars on the second white nested layer. I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of this so that we have a little bit of a pop. And then I did create a small strip to go over the top. And I thought that that just tied that blue into the card a little bit more. Once I get it aligned, I'm going to trim off the end and then we're going to add our circles to our card panel. Now I cut out the all star and then I used one of my nested circles that fit it perfectly and cut a second layer out using red cardstock. And here I'm going to layer that up. I think it really helps the sentiment stand out just a little bit more. I used the same red cardstock and blue cardstock for the MVP, so everything is cohesive. On this card, there was no coloring. I used the same colors for the glove and for the bat, and I'm going to arrange these and you can see I kind of have a visual triangle going on here. So you have the all-star, you have the glove, and then you have the MVP. It kind of forms that nice triangle which is really pleasing to the eye. Once I finish adhering these, that will complete my card for today. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a baseball or golfer in your life that these dies would be perfect for. If you head over to the Cottage Cuts blog, which I'll have linked in the description box below, there's plenty of inspiration using some of the other dies in this collection. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to show you a couple close-ups of both of these cards. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching.